And we are live. Hello. I a little counter to come up to make sure it's popping up over on the tubes. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll check on my phone, too. Good morning, everybody. There's the count. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank hi, you hi. for coming to Sunday or Tacky Like Sunday Morning. I don't even know my own title. I love the name of the show. This is the best name. Dolores came up with that. Uh, Miss Dam Jewelry, she came up with that. I'm like, oh, yeah. So clever. We'll go with that. I need other people to give me good ideas. Well, that works. <laughs> All right. So welcome, everybody. Let's see who's in the chat. And then... Um, We'll get to Jamie and she could talk about her channel and all that stuff. Not that you guys don't know who she is. I mean, come on. They don't know who I am. I'm nobody. <laughs> all right. So Barbie's here, Jennifer Green, Claudia, um, Jay Wonders, Betty. There's Dolores. Jazz, hey, Dolores. Uh, Carrie's here. Carrie. So if you guys are popping in later and I don't catch you, I'm sorry, but you know I can't concentrate on two things at once. <laughs> and it's 7.30 in the morning here. I can't concentrate on hardly anything. So <laughs> so just know we say hi to you and we're so happy you're here. So if you guys don't know, here is my guest uh, for the live sale, Jamie from Mid-Century Wasted, bright and early and bushy-tailed with her coffee. All right, Jamie, tell I'm us all about you and your channel. I'm going to put you big so everybody will okay. know who you are. Hold all on. Right. Let me figure this out. Can you? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. I am Jamie. My channel is Mid-Century Wasted. I search all over for mid-century things to either keep and hoard for my own collection or to flip online like this. And... <laughs> The kids are up, Carrie. Blake is watching them. I see that. Um, yeah, so I just go around. I'm in Southern California. So you get to, on my channel, you get to see kind of what it's like out here. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's very expensive. <laughs> and like, for example, we just had an amazing, epic estate sale that I was just telling Daniel about. And um, it was it was crazy. It was crazy. So that'll be coming up next on my channel. And that's that's about it in a nutshell. All right, can't wait for that. Well, can I show you my brooch? That I was getting ready to say, let's do brooch of the day. Look at that! Wow. So this is by far the most valuable brooch I've ever had in my possession, and I am selling it. But I wanted to wear it at least one time. And this is a 1960s Kenneth J. Lane lion. Wow! I got it at a auction with a bunch of other things and i was just like blown away by it and then i looked up how much it's worth and it's worth like 200 bucks and so i'm like well i have to sell it but i want to wear it at least one time before i put it on ebay i wouldn't be able to give it up <laughs> i have to i have to it's i'm i'm not um valuable enough to wear that expensive of jewelry <laughs> Okay, so we have some more people that came in. Michelle from Newton's Cupboard is here. Frenchy Mom is here. Tiger's Timeless Treasures is here. D is here. H.M. Parker. If I'm repeating, um, get over it because I don't know what oh, I'm doing. Melinda <laughs> stayed up all night to be here. Who? What? Where? Melinda. She's on, the, she's on the West Coast here, too. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow, that's dedication. <laughs> Look at you, Jamie. <laughs> well, she had sent me a it. message. She had sent me a message saying she was just getting to bed at 4 a.m., but I guess she decided to just stay up. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I couldn't do that. So, speaking of Tiger, Tiger, Tiger gifted me my brooch of the day. Oh, I saw that on Instagram. That is so nice. Isn't that pretty? This actually yeah. uh, was in uh, Pamela Blanchard's sale. I and love Tiger it. bought that and then had it sent to me. How nice. Everybody in this community is just wonderful. I know. I, I just, it, it's very touching how helpful and generous everybody is. Um, it's true. It's true. It's, uh, it's just something. I think my best decision through the whole shutdown was starting to look at all these videos and then decide to get into it and stuff. Yeah. It's been, it's been very wonderful. 
Very wonderful. So let's get into the nitty gritty of the sale. Okay, so what's gonna happen, peeps? <laughs> Everything that we are doing <coughs> is um, tacky toss ups. So basically offer ups. Jamie and I both are doing them that way. So we'll hold up an item and we'll say we're starting at that. If one person bids on it, nobody else does, that's what you'll get. If other people start bidding, then it'll be, you'll need to keep it going higher. And um, we will do a countdown from 10 once we decide to, you know, slow it down or get moving because I have to go to work today. So we do have a time constraint, unfortunately. Oh. Otherwise, we could just stay on here all day long. I don't yeah. know if Blake would like that or not. but <laughs> <laughs> um, So, and also, if you guys see Miss Damn Jewelry, she is going to be our star and our stop person. So she will, once we say what we're starting the price at, she put in start with price. And once we count down from 10, when we're done, she will put stop in and we will go from her stop, what I see on my end, um who above that has the highest um, amount is the one that will win it uh, jamie is shipping from california please be aware i am shipping from illinois so people in california please be aware <laughs> <laughs> i always feel and i do get a lot of uh, buyers from california and like arizona and stuff and i'm like oh i always get so many on the east coast and i'm like well this is going as far as it possibly can yeah, well, package. Well, you know what shipping is, so hey. Yeah, yeah. I, I always feel bad, but you know, that's part of it. Yeah, that's it is. Of it. Um, so things will be from what I see on my end, and that's what we're going to go with. If there are any discrepancies, you can let me know, but please let Dolores be the only one putting the information in so it does not con get confusing. Because sometimes if you put something in, you're trying to help, it looks like you're bidding. So yeah. Just let Dolores put the stuff in. And I want to say a big thank you to Miss Dolores for doing this for yes. me, for coming on and doing this. It is wonderful of her. She's become one of my best friends from England. That's so nice. She is. She's 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 a wonderful. And don't forget, she sent me that caftan. So if we get me to a thousand subscribers, <laughs> I'll be wearing that caftan. Can't wait. It's going to happen. It's just around the corner. Uh, and we're both doing 15 items. We had to keep yes. it, we had to keep it down because work always gets in the way of work. And I might maybe be going back to that estate sale after this. I don't want to talk to you about this. I, you hurt me. You hurt me. Oh, Everything's 50 to 75% off today. I can't believe you're even doing the sale. I would have like got a hold of me and say, sorry, something came no. up. <laughs> no, because I went on Thursday. I, I I experienced it on the crazy day. <laughs> oh, mercy. Well, I bet you still find stuff. Yeah, I was talking to people who went yesterday. They were like, yeah, there's still tons of stuff because it was just so packed. It was so packed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my Instagram. It's just mid-century wasted because it was – the craziest estate sale I've ever seen in my life. There were several of the big Instagram or YouTuber people there. And I'm like, it was wow. a party in the oh, line. Everyone, everyone was, you, you just see everyone like <laughs> in, all, in the line, everyone had their phone. Everyone was like on live on Instagram and stuff. It was really funny. Oh, I've watched several of the ones when they, especially the Instagram ladies. Yeah. It hurt me to watch it. It did, I'm like, oh, my soul hurts right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want that because you don't see any of that stuff here very rarely. Once well, it's, it's while rare here, here too. I mean, at least I, just the shelf after shelf after shelf of everything packed, packed in with stuff. It was insane. Well, there's going to be some amazing sales coming up. There are. Yeah, I'm sure there are. <laughs> it's going to be spectacular for a while. Yeah. Okay, everybody. So shall we get this party started? We've got 41 people here. So um, <coughs> Nancy was asking where all this stuff came from. 
in that the day. stuff at the estate sale. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was someone's collection, but I've heard that they did have an antique store. The people, the owners of the house, had an antique store at some point. Some of the stuff in there did have like an old antique store tag on it, but it it was more than an antique store worth of stuff. So we think they also like collected and hoarded over the years too. And oh, the other crazy thing is the estate sale company said it took five months to set up their that estate sale. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? That's how much stuff there was. But I guess it would if you looked at the amount of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Do you want to go first as the guest, Jamie? I could if you'd okay, like to. So let's get Jamie up. And also, I got all professional and all the rules and stuff are in the description down below. And so then we do have our um, emails up, and you will go to whoever you buy from. Send yes. your info. That's what I need to say. So oh, yeah. Information, which is your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address and your PayPal email. It is important you send your PayPal email, not yeah. just like a name or something. We need the PayPal email. And not your credit card information. <laughs> Don't send us that. <laughs> so send to each one. We each have our, right underneath us, we have our emails, so right there it is. And I've also linked to Jamie's channel down below. Don't know if I did it right, because we all know I'm not tech savvy. Thank you so much. So there we go. Okay, let's get this party started. And Jamie is up first. Okay. I am going to start with this box. These are humorous cards. These are greeting cards in the original box. Now, the box, as you can see, is a little messed up, but... The greeting cards are really the good part. These are like, I'm gonna say 70s greeting cards. They're unused, they're not even folded yet. See how they're, like they're supposed to fold like this. Um, the graphics on them are hilarious. Oh, and I'm starting at $10 for the whole box. And so here's like, a witch and then the graphics on the inside so this one says here's a little something i've cooked up especially for you instant prints on the inside and then i'll just flip through them real quick here's this guy this one's super creepy on the outside they're all kind of like like off off color or what do they call it? They're, they're a little off, you know? So that's the outside of this one. It says, my dear, I love you and I know you will think I'm crazy for what I'm about to say, but I have to tell you anyway, my darling, I just want you to remember one thing. They're going to let me out tomorrow at 4.30. And then this guy, is, <laughs> this creepy, creepy dude is in jail. So that's the kind of stuff that's in here. There's this one and this one. I meant to be counting these as I was doing this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. There's the insides of them. So, yeah, they're meant to be folded. And then, okay, so those are like the funny ones. And then these are like the serene 70s, 80s kind of artwork these ones are almost more funny to me because they remind me of like jack handy on snl here's some more that one's just really cool they're just fun you know what i mean there's that one so we have fat bird finds at 12 right now and there's that one. Oh, this one's kind of funny it says Psst, don't look now but I said, don't look now. Aren't these weird? <laughs> and then here's more of like the serene, like super 70s, 80s, trying to be romantic. These are just too funny. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 of them with the envelopes in there too. So I'm going to start counting down. Now you've seen them all. <laughs> that took a while. So we'll count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. And we'll wait for Dolores's stop. And we will see who gets them. There is a delay, just to let you know. Oh, yeah. There yeah, is yeah. Dolores' stop. So it looks like Fat Bird Fines got them for $12. Thank you. Is that Laura? It's probably I Laura. Isn't she the blue bird? Usually. <laughs> or is it both of you? Are you both there? Sometimes it's both of them, but. I don't know if they're together today. Well, thank you for that. Thank you so much. My friends that I miss so bad. So we all know I'm not, you know, tech with this, but I'm going to try to put the little things up there. But when it's me, um, I might miss somebody. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll help me figure out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm going to myself up. And... Then, I am going to start with this wonderful Anchor Hawking Bubble Sugar and Creamer set. I love the bubble pattern. Absolutely love it. I've actually started collecting it. I've got several plates and bowls and stuff, but I just thought I would put this up. This is in the clear. It's not the light blue. So we're going to start out this Anchor Hawking Bubble at $8 for the creamer and sugar set. So if you're interested, just put in $8. I have a hard time holding these upright <laughs> on yard stream. <laughs> stream yard, sorry. I always do that too. I call it yard stream. <laughs> okay, so we're starting out at $8. There is a close-up of the bubble. No chips or cracks on these babies. I just absolutely. Yes, I ship to anybody in the United States. Just beware if you're away. We all know what shipping costs now. And do you ship to Canada? Somebody was oh, asking. Canada. Sorry. I just seen CA. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have not, but I can. I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> it's not that hard. I'll help you if you need help. <laughs> all right. Jamie, right. I always need help. <laughs> kidding me? I'm always asking people. What about this? What about that? Okay, is anybody interested in the Anchor Hawking Bubble Set? Put in eight. Eight dollars is what we're starting them out at. I'm not seeing anybody yet. Nope. So, so we're going to go ahead and move it right along, and we'll go back to Jamie. Okay. I'm going to sell some derpy, derpy owls. This is a framed uh, photograph that has been like lacquered. You know, it's kind of like that 70s artwork. And so it's an actual photo. I know there's a glare on there. I'm trying to make it so you can't see the glare, but it's an actual photograph of owls. Um, I don't know how they posed them or anything like that. I'm starting this at $8 for the owls okay just so there's not confusion d i do see you eight dollars for my set of the anchor hawking so oh, okay so that way we don't yeah because that came in way before i said eight dollars unless she's psychic and she knew i was going to start this at eight dollars <laughs> i got know. it everybody <laughs> so these this is a photograph of two owls yeah, nice hooters, exactly. And Don't they said, have like the is, most hilarious looks on their faces? Jamie, you said starting at eight. Eight dollars, yes. Okay, Dolores, if you could put that in for us, please. And it's just a like a kind of a thick shadow box looking frame. And I believe that the, the like the lacquer or the resin, I don't know. I think it's a lacquer though that they put on here. It's got kind of a yellow 
a yellowness to it. I don't know if it has yellowed over time or if it was made to look like that. I feel like all of this kind of stuff from the 70s all has that sort of same look now, but I don't know if that's age or what, but I don't think it takes anything away from it. There's just, um, they're just some silly little owls. And I really don't know how they got them um, to take this picture because they're in like a pine tree. I don't know if somebody just had a really long camera lens and happened to snap that shot or if they're like trained owls that they posed in a studio or something. No idea. Reaction to the flash. It could be because like they've definitely got that like, holy crap look on their face. So anyway, if nobody's interested in these, I'll set them aside. Oh, wait, no, I do see an eight. Daniel, get on top oh, of this. Sorry. <laughs> I see Julie at eight. So I will start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. Yeah, owl in the headlights for sure. Like, who's taking our picture? Okay, I'm just waiting for the stop. Not that we have anything to wait for. We know who got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. There's our stop. So thank you yeah. so much, Julie. Okay, my turn. Oops, turn. let's take Julie off. Gosh, guys, if this ain't gonna be a mess, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! I try to be professional, but it's kind of like a clown, you know. <laughs> oh, you're doing fine. Okay, so you're better than I would do. Let's do some ephemera. I have a set of greeting cards here, vintage greeting cards. I think I have one, two, three, four, five. And Dolores will be starting this out at $12. So we have the little bluebirds, a cherry get well note, and it is foil, the little note. How cute. Aren't those cute? They all do have writing in them, and then they all were attached to like a board or something. So just be aware of that. And then, well, if I can figure out how to open it. And there's the inside. So there's the first one. Love it. And then the second one is a choo-choo. Get well soon. And there's the inside. And there's the back. And we have this wonderful little cart of flowers to help you're improving. And then there's the inside. So there's that. I think this is my favorite. Let me figure out which way we're opening here. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be smarter than the card, and I'm not. <laughs> Look at her. Oh. I just love that. That is so adorable. And there's the inside. She's all happy now. Look at the little, uh, I can't say the word, but the house with the eyeballs. Anthropomorphic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to try it. <laughs> My tongue will wrap around that and make it into something it shouldn't be. <laughs> okay. And then I like this one too with the doctor and the nurse. Oh, how cute. So these are at $12 starting out. I absolutely love that. So if anybody is in, interested in these, we can start it out at $12. Let me fan these out all professional looking like, even though we know I'm not. Hold on. Let me get anybody interested in them. <laughs> okay. There we go. So set of five vintage, wonderful cards starting at $12. Is anybody interested? All right, I don't see anybody unless I have a huge delay on my end, which somebody just addressed that. Um, 
Auntie Harry said that they were watching from Australia and seen the stop 10 seconds before I ever saw that come up. So, okay, we're going to move on. Nobody's interested in those, so we'll move on to Jamie again. Okay. I have a <clears throat> very large glass flower frog, and we're going to start this at $12. I will measure it for you. Actually, before I do that, there is... I don't know how on earth I'm going to show this, but there is a kind of a stress crack right there. There you go. Now you can see it right above my finger right there. And a slight chip right there on that center one. That's the damage, um, but it's not noticeable at all if you're using it. I've seen people use these to display marbles which is what I would use this for. This is one of the bigger ones and it is five inches in diameter. And so that is $12. There's not really a whole heck of a lot to say about it. You guys know what flower frogs are like. So if anybody is interested, I'll just give it another little bit to account for some delay if there is any. But, oh, I do have some marbles around here somewhere. I could show you what it looks like. It looks really cool when you have uh, marbles in there. I wish it was the uranium ones that light up because I have a little collection of the uranium glass marbles. And then you could have the flower frog and the marbles all lighting up. No, that would be like a uranium UFO. Yeah, right? It totally would. I've seen people put... Um, Fountain pins in those. It looks really cool. Put what? Fountain pins. Ooh, that's a fun thing to do too, for sure. Yeah, I, you know, there's a lot of people who are super cl clever and crafty and stuff that can think up all these ideas. And I just see your ideas and then use them like they're my own. <laughs> yeah, I, that's how I am too. Yeah, I can't. I would never think up that kind of stuff. But then I see somebody else do it. I'm like, ooh, I want to do that too. Okay, if there's no interest in this, I will set it aside. All righty then, moving on. I don't know who made this, so there we go. <laughs> there you go. I have this wonderful blue hobnail vase bowl, whatever you want to use it as. I do need to get that um, tape out of there. And the funny thing is it has hobnails on the bottom too. I've never seen them with the hobnails on the bottom. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start this blue hobnail vase bowl starting at 12. This is Fenton D. I didn't know because the hobnails look different, but I don't know. I've just... It was weird to see it with the thing. There are no markings on this, so I just think the color of that is really pretty. So D said it's Fenton. So look at me selling a piece of Fenton. Could be. <laughs> so I see Jana is at 15. So if anybody else is interested in this, it needs to go higher than 15. Let me put Jana up there at 15 till we get a higher bid. So that's the high bid right now. That blue color is gorgeous. It is really pretty. I really like that. And I'm not even going to talk about putting anything in it because I just like it by itself. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see. You could, if you wanted to, put your little light in there. Mm. Plus it's, you know, way too bright for this. Okay, I have a bid of 16 for Andrea Kane. So if anybody else is interested in this, I need to go higher than 16. I wonder, hold on, I'm I'm gonna try to that helps a little. So you could put a little this this is one of those um, rainbow ones that changes colors. There you oh go. cool. Look at that. Mesmerize you. It's you gorgeous. This 
aqui. <laughs> it is. I do like the tea light in there. So oh, let's get bright again. We've got to be bright and cheery here. <laughs> okay, so we have Andrea Kane at $16. So I don't see anybody else. We're going to go ahead and start counting this down. So get your bids in before I end at 10 and we get to the stop. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and I will wait for the stop from Miss Dolores. So pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, you all. Y'all, look, I did a Texas y'all. <laughs> the delay here is real. <laughs> it is. It is. Waiting to see my stop. There's the stop. There wow, that jumped huge. Everybody saying hi to Beth. Hi, yep. Beth. <laughs> so we have Andrea Kane. Let me get this written down and let me go up and get her off of here. Hold on. Thank you, Andrea. I appreciate that very much. And now it's Jamie's turn. Thank you. My next item is a book. This is Black Beauty and uh, I got this because of the cover. <laughs> I just think that the cover art is really cool on this. I'm going to start this book at $8. And this is not in perfect condition by any means. So I wouldn't say this is for um, a hardcore book collector um, condition wise, but I think it's cute for um, decor purposes. You prop it up like this. Um, this is from... I know I have the date on here somewhere. Oh yeah, I remember it was MCMLV. So it's 1955 is the edition of this one. And the pages on the inside, as you can see, you know, you've got some browning, the spine is loose. The spine on the side is faded too. I think you can probably tell the difference in color, but the cover itself, the artwork is still in beautiful condition. And there is a really cute little inscription on the inside, which I personally like. Oh, you had it in your childhood? How cool. I like when there's inscriptions myself. I know like people who are looking for valuable books, they don't want it to have any writing on the inside. But this one says, to Robbie from Grandma. And I just think that's sweet. And there's some inside artwork, too, in this. I'll just kind of flip through it. Um, the pages are super, super yellowed, super browned. If you wanted to use it for junk journaling, you certainly could. This is not like a highly collectible book or something. Um, although I wouldn't really want you to, but that's me personally, that's, that's up to you if you buy it. So there's some more artwork in there. Again, just the cover art I think is the best part about this. It's, Oh, and then there's the back too. There's also some cute artwork on the back. And I believe this was, let me double check. Yeah, this is a Whitman too, which is the publishing company that Misty always loves because of the, the artwork in there. Yeah, see you like the inscriptions too. I do too. I love seeing, I especially love it when there's a big long paragraph on the inside. I have Deb at eight. Thank you, Deb. Oh my gosh, Jana, that's such a sweet story. How nice. So if there's no other bids, I'll just go ahead and start counting it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Cool book, Deb. Really cool. Love the artwork on that. Still waiting for the stop. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Deb. Okay. Gotcha. So 
switch it on over. Um, hold on, I gotta go back up. Oh, Melinda, Deb, that's so nice. Melinda, lavish saying? mango. Just to let you know, yes, I am selling my head scratcher. <laughs> It'll be coming up. <laughs> Aw, I have to put this up. Um, I thought I just took her off. Hold on, hide. Now I'm going to put her back up. Where'd she I go? saw that. Yes. That is Aww. so sweet. I'll wrap it up really nice for you. Whoops. Sorry. <clears throat> the the chat jumps when you're trying to click on things. Yeah. <laughs> you click on the wrong thing. Oh, I am so not professional, people. <laughs> Woo. This is hard. The struggle is real. Okay. So in honor of all this talk of this kitschy crap, I'm going to do a kitschy. I did find something kitschy and tacky. So, Yay. I know. <laughs> We're going to do this lovely shell lady. Ooh. Look at her. Isn't oh, she's she... tactastic. I know it. She is so tacky. Look at the little face and the I don't know why she has furry arms, but hey, we're gonna go with it. Oh and my gosh. Are, is that chenille arms? Yes. Oh my gosh. You can't see it because of my sucky camera, but it says made in Japan. But yes. She has little fuzzy chenille arms for some reason. So <laughs> we are starting out at $13 for this lovely lady. Isn't oh, I she love wonderful? It. She has um, like, it's gold, but I think they were trying for the sand look because it kind of has that texture. They were trying for all sorts of stuff with that thing. I know. It's so <laughs> happy. I love it. I love her. Oh my goodness. So we have Miss Jana at 15. I I don't know. I can't get over the hairy arms. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I were making it, I might have used little shells or something for them. <laughs> she needs a wax. It, it just <laughs> cracks me up. I'm like, are you crying furry tears or what? <laughs> well, look at that dress. I mean, she's fancy. So we have Janet at 15. If anybody else is interested in this, we need to go higher than 15. Look at her face, though. She's like, yes, I am all that and something else. And she really is something else. I keep oh, looking yeah. down. I need to be looking at the camera. <laughs> all right. So I don't see anybody else popping on. So we're going to go ahead and count this little lady down. So we're going to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. So we'll wait for the stop. And we'll wait for the stop. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll wait some more. <laughs> oh, we'll wait. There we go. Thank you, Dolores. I know it's not you. It's the delay. So it's us. I appreciate you. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that goes to Jana. Man, I wish you could take these off on the screen instead of having to go all the way back up and find this. <laughs> all right. Here we go to Jamie. I almost said Jana. <laughs> uh, call me whatever you want. It's fun. Okay. I got some cute little duckies. I think these are adorbs. These are Shawnee oh. salt and pepper shakers. And I'm going to start at $6 because there is there's some condition issues on these, which I'll start showing you. But these are going to start at 6 for the salt and peppers. This one, you can see there's a chip right on the top there. And both of them have these little spots on them, which I believe was from the crazing. And then they kind of just got a little stained. Something got underneath the little cracks in the, the crazing. But 
I personally collect salt and pepper shakers and the condition issues wouldn't really bother me much because I just put them on my shelf because they're cute and kitschy anyway. But they do have the original stoppers if you wanted to use them. I don't really see why you couldn't. Um, this one is good on top. There's no chips on this one. Um, but just a few little spots, just kind of a discoloration, we'll say. And they've got these cute little eyelashes and the pink and the blue. I just think, you know, they're Shawnee, so they just got that Shawnee look to them. Thank you, Jana, for your bid. And then just look at the little face. I just can't get over the eyelashes. They're just so darling, so darling. And there's the bottom again. This cork is a little chunked up, as you can see, but it's there. So if you wanted to use it, you can always change the corks too. That's a pretty easy, easy fix. Shawnee is so sweet. Yes, I, I just, I can't get over the eyelashes. I wish my eyelashes were half that long. Look at those darling. Okay, I just see the one bid from Jana, so we're gonna count it down. We're looking for $9 or more. We're gonna count from 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Cuties, don't wake them. Sleeping ducks. I think they're very apropos for this early of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is my spirit animal right now. <laughs> and there's our stop. So, Miss Jana. Thank you, Jana. Sorry, I'm fine. <laughs> Ooh, Jamie's like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> You know what? You're doing better than I would. I would never be able to manage all this StreamYard stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, how about let's bring back the brooch? Let's Ooh. do a brooch. I have this wonderful gold, what reminds me of Star Trek. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it actually, the way the clasp is on the back, is supposed to go, you know, like this, which looks like a lobster claw. Yes. I like it like this for Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm I wear it. Let's show you. There's the size. And I'll be professional. We're gonna start this out at eight dollars. Hi, Miss Pamela. We are measuring at three and three quarter inches. So it's a good one, but I absolutely, Star Trek, come on, people. <laughs> so starting, starting at $8. Hold on, I see somebody. <laughs> okay, we have Jazdia, $8. If anybody else is interested in this, you can wear it this way as a claw just a wonderful it kind of reminds uh, we know this is not a vintage vintage it reminds me of something from the 80s but if you turn it this way it reminds you of something from the 60s star trek <laughs> <laughs> i'm all about that star trek there is no markings on the back and it does have the safe safety clasp on there but it's a pretty hefty piece too. So it's three and a half inches long. So if anybody else is interested, we need to go higher than eight. Any Star Trek fans out there, brooch fans, gold fans, 80s fans, let's see, 80s fans, 60s fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, looks like we have one person interested in this. So let's just go ahead and count this puppy down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one, and stop. Waiting for the stop, waiting for the stop. Did you see that she says she sells at Comic Cons? Really? That's cool. All right, there's our stop. So I have Jazdia for eight dollars. Thank you very much, Jazdia. I appreciate that. Live long and prosper. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta find her again and take her off so we don't get confused here. I'm gonna make this worse than it really is. There we go. <laughs> okay. I have a set of four vintage handkerchiefs, and I'm going to start at $8. That is just $2 a hanky. So let me hold them all up for you. This one is a sheer pink. Hopefully the pink isn't looking white on the screen, but it is a pink color with these little pink flowers and the little detail around the edge. This one's very, very sweet. And it is sheer, like I said. And then the next one, I think this is white, but it has an ever so slight blue kind of tint to it, but it's very, very slight. I think it is white, but it's just kind of, because it's sheer, it's sort of coming through as a little bit of a color, but I, th I really think it's just white. And that's got this really pretty scalloped edge detail. This one is blue. This is a light blue. And this isn't quite as sheer. And it's got these colorful little flowers on the edge. I like vintage hankies. I think oh, I do nice too. Pretty. There's, there you go. You can kind of see the detail on that one. And then the last one is pink with some light blue tulips on it. Aww. And this pink edge. And, you know, they do all have like a little something here and there. They're vintage, so they're not going to be in absolutely perfect condition, but there's nothing major, no major big tears or stains or anything like that. They just might have a little snag or a little pinhole here and there. So the price is for all four. Those are so great. You can frame them or uh, Misty had mentioned one time when she was on a show about putting them across your window as a little window topper. I did yes. that in the kitchen. It is adorable. Oh, it's so pretty. That is so, so pretty. Not to bring up the estate sale that you don't want me to bring up anymore, but the amount of vintage handkerchiefs they had at this estate sale was unbelievable. And she had them up on a string and just Close, close pinned along and just had it like up on the wall, like a whole wall of vintage handkerchiefs, like behind a door or something. It was amazing. Sorry, there's a big truck pulling up outside because every single time I'm going live, there's some sort of chaos outside my window. It's, it just happens every single time. So of course it has to happen today. Well, that's just part of a course here at Tacky is Me. Well. Every video I make, every time I'm live, there's like a semi truck backing up outside. Something is always happening outside. And I have to have the window open because we don't have air conditioning. So then Ooh. I would just sweat. No air conditioning. <laughs> guys are going into a major heat wave. Wow. You, you guys have a heat wave? No, I said you don't have any air conditioning and you guys are going into a major heat wave. Are we? I don't know. That's what I heard that was going to be in the hundreds for California, Washington, Oregon. Crap. I didn't even hear that myself, but we're at the beach. So we're sometimes the rest of the state will be in a heat wave and we make it out. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. I'm going to count it down. We're looking for $9 or more. It's a set of four vintage hankies, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, 
two, one, and stop. Yeah, that sea breeze, Tiger, like right now it's completely foggy. So we we luck out at the ocean. It's worth the uh, exorbitant amount of rent that we have to pay to get the good weather. <laughs> and there's our stop. All right, I got you, Annette. Thank you so much. Those are really pretty. I love those. Okay, so try and do work here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I forgot to choose what item I'm doing next. <laughs> oh, well, just grab something. I've got it. We'll do some more ephemera. I have some sheet music. Sorry, I have to write this down because I'm old, and if I don't do it now, then we're lost. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, and five five pieces of sheet music. Now, the top one I'm gonna show you is just the cover. Evidently, they lost the sheet music to it. So, we've got this wonderful one, you and I. But like I said, the sheet music is gone from it. Unfortunately, but who cares? Look at that graphic. And they wrote down on here, 2-5 of 1929. You can see it right down there. So from 1929, it does have writing on it. They did put their name on it. I love the graphics on this. So we're going to start this out at $15 for the set of five. So there's that one. So starting at $15. And then this one I had to put down because they were in the, you know, Roman numeral thing. So this is 1929. So let me take that off from 1929. Lonesome Little Doll. Look at, I love the graphics on this stuff. That's so cool. And it does have its sheet music in it. And evidently it's a long song. So I love, this would be great um, for Halloween too with the collars on it. Oh, yeah. But you can tell it's 20s just from the outfits they have on. And the little ladies down at the bottom. So there's that. So starting out at $15 for this. This is from 1931. And this is uh, El Choclo? Choclo? I don't, I'm not good with Spanish, so... These are Spanish dance numbers. So this is from 1931, but look at the graphics on there. I love that. And it does have its music inside, as you can see. So this is starting out at $15 for the set of five vintage sheet music, almost antique. This is uh, 1931. I love that graphic. That's gorgeous. Temporarily blue. It reminds me sort of of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Or is oh, it, yeah. Or what's the other one? Is it Caroline or something like that? The, Doll. Uh, Coraline. Coraline. Yeah. That reminds me of that in shadow form. <laughs> it's got Tim Burton vibes is what you're saying. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that dude. <laughs> so starting at $15. And then we have the flight of the bumblebee. What's Ooh. the bumblebee? Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then there's the back. I love the font on this. And this is, I think it's 1931 too. Yep, it's 1931 too. And there's the inside. Light of the bumblebee. I hear it in my head. Me too. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> so, set of five sheet music, almost antique, but definitely vintage. So, 1929, and most of them are 1931. 
So there we go. These are great to hang on the wall, even though it's dark in here, like I did back here. Awesome. Frame them, hang them on your wall. So looks like nobody's interested in these. So we will move on to Jamie now. Okay. I have a lovely stretched base and this is pink. I hope I might have to get out of the way here so you can see it against the white. This is like the depression glass pink color. You see that in there? There we go. So it's kind of almost like that um, dusty pink, that rose or peachy pink. And I'm starting this at $18 for the stretched depression glass vase. Now, it's got, well, Lord knows I'll never get you to be able to see it. It's got some like water rings inside and I have not tried to wash it, but I think it'll come out. Um, it's just a little bit cloudy in there. So I think it's, it's not anything where it's etched to the glass, but also I didn't try to get it out. So I just started it at a price in case it is etched, you know, you're not, you're not getting a bad deal on it. So it is, I just measured it and I already forgot. It is nine and a half inches tall. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. And here's the bottom. There's no chips or cracks on it anywhere. And I just love the way it's been stretched at the ends. It's almost, to me, it almost re reminds me of like a spider web or something, the way that it's pulled on the edges. And I love this color. This is that, yeah, dent denture tablets. If, the, if it is hard water, I have a feeling though, it's just like, because it kind of like comes out. I think it's just dust, to be honest, or just whatever, grime. Because it doesn't look like it's, there's nothing like s stuck in there. It's mostly down here. It's just kind of cloudy. So I think if it is any kind of anything beyond dirt, I think um, it'll, it'll get clean. But it's just absolutely beautiful. That would be a great addition to sunglass vase um, set up, set up. <laughs> Display. <laughs> Display. Okay, if there's no interest, I will set it aside. All right. So, whoa, I almost hit remove me on my own. <laughs> Bye, I'm Daniel. Not doing good here, let me tell you. <laughs> Let's see if we can just end this right now. I got to go. <laughs> okay, are we ready? I have the head scratchy vase. Great for it. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this. I tried to find who made this. I'm not for sure who made this. I could not find one exactly like this. Um, I can't call this swung because they've just pulled this with, yeah you can see the little marks from the tools at the top so a pulled vase i guess i don't know who the maker is i couldn't find any we're gonna start this puppy out at 14 dollars. i love the blue it that is, is awesome beautiful beautiful blue collar and i don't think it's viking but because uh, it's not exactly it has like um inside it has the uh orange peel texture to it and i don't think viking did that but i don't know i can't say it's somebody somebody made this <laughs> <laughs> so we're starting this out at 14 dollars uh oh we had a bit up there hold on Woo! this is hard <laughs> So we have H.M. Parker at $14. So if anybody else is interested in this, we need to go higher than 14. And there's the bottom. 
I love it. It also reminds me, for some reason, of the Game of Thrones. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you know why? It just does, you know. Get out of my way. I rule this. <laughs> Winter <laughs> is coming. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, what am I missing here? So, Pamela was at 16. Now, H.M. Parker's at 18. Absolutely love it. And if you don't want to set this in a window, you can always use it for, you know, a head scratcher a back scratcher just be careful don't break the ends off of it <laughs> it is a beautiful blue collar it is just a vibrant blue this in a window shine it through there and let's do the ubiquitous however you say it tea light in it <laughs> Ooh, pretty it, uh, it would hard to be put one in here. Don't put a real candle in here because it will not set in there right because the bottom curves. So we just do that. Game of Thrones. Oh, looks like Pamela said she's out. She didn't see the other person bidding. But H.M. Parker's in there for it. All right, so since Pamela's out, let's go ahead and just start counting this down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Fancy M&M container. There you go. Yes. Or a head scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> and there's our stop. H.M. Parker gets that for $18. Thank you very much. Ooh, let me go find you and take you off of here so we don't get all confused again. Because I'm easily confused. And Jamie's up. Okay. Um, I have something that's a little fun. Just silly. This is Kitty Cucumber from 1983. And these are two sealed packages of gift note cards. Oh my gosh. Aren't those cute? From 1983 and they're still sealed in the package. You can see the, um, the old price tag of $1.75 <laughs> right there on there. So for the, um, uh, the pair, hold on, let me look at my notes. I am starting these at $8. And this one has 12 different note cards in there. And this one, let's see, this one also has 12. And these ones are in the shapes of the cats. Isn't she darling? And it's got the envelopes in there too. And you can see they've got the little um, the little holes if you wanna actually even tie these to a package because they are for gift notes or um, yeah, for gifts. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was, I love stuff that's in the package still. You got the new old stock. This one even had, uh, I don't know if they were Reese selling these at an antique booth or something, but they had a $12.59 price tag on there too. So go figure. <laughs> They're either $1.75 or $12.59 when they were new. I have no idea. Aren't they darling? And here's the other side again. But even though they're new old stock, I would say still take them out of the package and go ahead and use them because they're just so fun. Bidding is hot and heavy on this. I guess so. People like the little kitschy kitties. This is a fun tacky toss up. Kitty cucumber. <laughs> Who knew kitty cucumber would be the thing that got started a bidding war? Evidently, the 80s are the hot thing right now. 80s, they are. I know they are. And 1983, by the way, was the year I was born. So that's part of the reason why I grabbed these. You whippersnapper. Oh, yeah. So, so young. 
But considering I was born in 1968, you are. <laughs> well, I feel about 80, so. <laughs> I, I feel like I've already passed over. <laughs> uh, you're the undead. <laughs> Reminds me of P Beatrix Potter. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Look at the artwork on there. Yeah. They're so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna start counting down. Let's keep it rolling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Waiting for the stop, waiting for the stop. <laughs> Oh, I saw a 20 come in. Oh, thanks for keeping up on that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's our stop. Well, it all just, it jumps on us. So, like, it's, it, there's nothing. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of comments come through. There we all go. Right, Deb, I got you. Thank you so much. Almost missed that. Yeah, they do jump. And for an old person, it's hard to keep up. <laughs> 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 all right. So. Let's do another flower frog, but this one is ceramic. You don't see a whole lot of ceramic ones. Ooh. And I think that is awful cool. There is no maker's mark on the bottom, so I don't know who did it. And it's in an ivory collar, I guess you would call it. It's an off-white. And we're going to start this out at $12. Starting the ceramic flower frog at $12. And I like that it has a different size holes too. Um, you could put pins in it. You could put hat pins in it. I've seen. Oh, that's a good idea. Put your marbles on there. Put blue balls on there. I say that because I have one of Jeffrey's blue balls on one. <laughs> I have one of Jeffrey's balls too, but it's not blue. It's a rainbow. <laughs> Mine's blue and it's signed. <laughs> <laughs> I made him sign mine too. So what do we got going on here? Oh, got some bids that. coming in. Val is at 15 and now Jazdia is at 18. So the next bid would be higher than 18. Paint brushes. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Or use it for its intended purpose and use it as a flower frog. Imagine that. Yeah. Because it's got where you can put the smaller flowers in there and then the bigger ones, you know, Gerber daisies with the big things and then some little, I don't know, baby's breath. Obviously, I don't do flower arranging. Okay. We have Val M at 20. I just really like, I like the looks of it. <laughs> Me too. I'm a pottery person, so... I mean, I like my glassware, but my first collections was pottery. I had a huge McCoy collection. Oh, awesome. And then I gave it all away. Oh, no. You know, existential crisis. We went minimalist. I wish I had all that stuff back now. I'd be selling it on here today for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. So... Jazdia is out, so we're going to go ahead and count this down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Ooh. This also reminds me of those seed pods, you know, that they do in Florida. Oh, yeah that I don't know what it's called, but it looks mm -hmm. like you shake it and it has a little seeds in it. So oh, yeah. The holes in the top like that. There's our stop. So we have Val M420. Thank you very much, Val. I appreciate that. Let me get you off of here. And let me get Jamie up here. And there we go. All righty. So I've got another new old stock item. And these are kind of falling out, so I'm going to hold it just so. 
This is a nut and lobster cracker set in the original package. And clearly I got this because the package is kind of awesome. So this is gonna start at $12. And it's got the lobster in there and the nuts. Well, look at that, lobster nuts. Lobster and nut cracking needs. And I thought this would be really cute if you have lobsterware for a display or if you just have vintage kitchen stuff in a cabinet or something, or even 4th of July, because this is, it's a blue, this color, it's looking a little, a little different on camera, but it's, it's a blue. And then you got your red lobster in there. I just thought this was just super fun. And I love the font. And then the, the back is just plain, nothing really going on back there. And this original tag here, I think you probably could get that off with um, that undo stuff that Misty swears by. If you've heard of that, it takes um, paper off of paper and doesn't damage it, which is kind of crazy. But I just thought, graphics, yet, Sammy? what's that? Have you tried that yet? I yeah, have. Yeah. I have. I bought some of it and I tried it and it does exactly what she says. It, it, some. It's you're pouring liquid onto paper and it's terrifying because you think this is going to leave a big oily stain, but it just evaporates. It, it smells like alcohol. So I think it's just like an alcohol based adhesive remover. And it really, it works great. But there you go. It's the graphics on this, I think, are fantastic. I would guess this is probably late 50s into the 60s. That would be my guess here. I'm going to take a lobster fest. Yeah, there you go. Lobster fest. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never been to a lobster fest in California. I don't. I, our lobsters have to travel far to get to to get to us. Okay, if there's no interest in this, I will set it aside. There we go. All righty. So let's. I have to find my lights here. Let's do glass. Ta -da. Woo! I believe this is attributed to Fenton. I, I, I'm not 100% sure, but from what I've seen, they say Fenton. So we'll go with that. But I'm not saying for sure that it is. But it is Amberina. Yeah. It glows on the bottom and it glows with a little ring at the top. You can't see it on my sucky camera, but trust me it's there <laughs> so it is really pretty and it is a bright orangey red i mean she's bright and we're going to start this out at 18 dollars. it is beautiful that's love gorgeous it. love it and a window yes ma'am and it has <clears throat> it's 3d effect right around there like little it just <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but it is beautiful beautiful okay I gotta get over here and so hold on wrong one it jumped on me <laughs> oh hold on we're jumping again <laughs> I can't keep up 24 we're at 24 so far it is beautiful and it's a thick piece of glass this ain't no dainty. She's beautiful. I love it. Love it. This in a window is just mesmerizing. I need to start collecting Amberina. I really like it. And I think it would be an awesome display. Oh, hold on. Moving. Oh, here we go. We have a tacky toss up going on, people. Yeah, we do. <laughs> It is stunning. I love the color of this. I can't get over it. And I like the little ruffly top too. And it does have a ring of the yellow around the top. 
you can kind of see it back here. See the difference between the two? There we go. Yeah. So it has a ring of yellow, and then it has your yellow at the bottom and goes graduates up into the beautiful bright red. Okay, so we have Andrea at 26. It's just stunning. I absolutely love it. Even the bottom's cute, just that way. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So Claudia says she's out. Do we have anybody else interested in this? We need to go above 26. It does go, let's see, let's turn the light out. Let's turn the lights out on me. We need to do that. Let's see, can we? Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. There you go. Glowy. Showing the top is harder. You can sort of see it over there a little bit. The yellow ring does glow. I wish I was more professional when it comes. Ooh, hey, how about Woo. that? <laughs> there you Let's go. Let's blind everybody really from the UV light. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's just make this bright again. Okay, so there we go. And we're going to go ahead and start counting this down. So we are at 26. So anything higher than 26 before the 10 countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Waiting for the stop. Ooh. Waiting for the stop. <laughs> Waiting for the stop. Still waiting for it. There, there it goes. goes. Stop. Miss <laughs> Tana jumped in there. She snippedy sniped. <laughs> okay, so let me get that written down real quick and get her off the screen. Thank you, Jana. I will add it to your pile. And let me get her off of there. And get Jamie up. Okay. I have this darling pink 50s tea canister. And this is that car. Just we'll we'll just push through. This is that kind of hard. Lustro wear type plastic. If you're familiar with the Lustro wear canisters, I don't think this one's Lustro wear. This is a different brand, although I'm not positive which one it is. We're going to start this at $12. And these tend to have a little bit of condition issues. I will say this one is not cracked, which is amazing. Normally, when you find these, they've got cracks on them. The issue with this one is the there's some peeling to this gold on the top. Now, what I would do is I would probably scrub the rest of that off and either just leave it. It's like a silver underneath or take some gold paint and repaint it. That's what I would do. And it says T on the front and it's got these gorgeous flowers. You can kind of see the color a little more true when I hold it up close like this. But it is pink and it's a gold on the front. It looks maybe a little silver right now. But it's pink and gold. I will measure it for you. Now, this would have been part of a flour, sugar, coffee, tea set. Possibly even cookies. Um, these are becoming so hard to find. I have a turquoise set of the Lustro Wear ones that I'm trying to com complete. All right, it's a little over five inches tall, not counting the handle. But these are becoming so hard to find because they crack. I mean, if you drop it, this will, it'll shatter because it's a brittle, really brittle, hard type of plasticky material. And, but this one, I, I haven't been able to find ones that have the same um, graphic on the front. 
there's different ones with different patterns and they're just, they're super collectible. So I don't know, you might be able to find the rest of the set, but you might not. But I think it works fine just if you are really into tea and you just want this one tea canister. I started out my canister set, I started out with just a coffee because I'm a coffee drinking person, if you haven't realized that yet. And I just had this out on my little coffee bar, my coffee one, and it was awesome. But then I started finding the others. I love that. That is so pretty. I like that, <clears throat> what they called Mamie Eisenhower pink. Yes, that's exactly. It's the 50s. Yeah. It's 50s pink all the way. And this pink does go really well with turquoise. Pink and turquoise are just like gorgeous together. I love the graphic on that. That is so isn't that just so pretty? I have not been able to find, I, now I, I'm in some canister collector rings and there's a person who has all pink kitchen stuff. And I showed this to her cause she was looking for a very certain pattern on the front. And this wasn't it, unfortunately. Unfortunately for her, not unfortunately for you guys cause now you can have it, but I know some people are always just looking for like that one certain one because they're just, they're so hard to find now. So we're looking for 13 or more and I'm going to start counting it down from 10, nine. I didn't show you the inside. It's very, very clean on the inside. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and stop. I get a lot, a lot tease, a lot of tease. Still waiting for the stop. We're waiting. We're waiting, patiently waiting. And waiting for the stop, waiting for the stop. There we go, stop. There you go, thank you so much. All right. Gotcha. Did you get that? I got it. Thank okay. you. All right. So let's get a little day drinking on. <laughs> I don't know what that is because I don't drink, but I have this. Okay. Don't break them, Daniel. Don't break them. But I have this set of four barware with the atomic bursty. Um, oh my gosh, I want those. So, I don't know, is this called highball glasses? Old fashioned. Old fashioned? Mm -hmm. So, it has the, they need clean, I'm just letting you know that. <laughs> so, there's spots on my glasses. I don't, what was that commercial for the, where she would talk about her spots on glasses and if you use the powder in the dishwasher? Yeah, there was somebody. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> that might be before my time. It was before your time. <laughs> so it there are there is wear on some of these. I'm going to turn the ring light off and maybe that'll show better. Did that help any? Yeah, I think so. But those are wonderful. Now, just to let you know, as far as shipping goes, there are four of these. They do have a heavy bottom to them. So it's going to be, you know, because they're going to be wrapped well, I'm hoping, and so it'll be heavier for shipping, just to let you know. Like this one, if you can see, the gold is war on that one. Did Man, you say the start price? Oh, I did not. Thank you, Jamie. I was just <laughs> starting looking for at 12 for these. Oh, that's a great price. Oh, my gosh. Starting at 12, but there is some wear, like on that one, as you can see, some of it's wore away. They're they so their, bad, men. They had their fingers there when they were drinking these, whatever <laughs> they drink out of these. So just be aware of some of these Scotch. do have some wear on them. Scotch. <laughs> I'd be drinking Mountain Dew out of them. So, um, <laughs> or tea. And not Long Island, neither. Dr. Just Pepper. Regular tea. I just really like these. So we're starting these out at 12. You have a bid for 12. Oh, Logan. Hey, Logan. Hi, Logan. 
I didn't see you there. It's been a while. Welcome to the sale. The yes, Mad Men all fancy dancy. Oh yeah. Drinking it up. Put your little rocks in there. I know that much. Rock. Scotch on the rocks. I don't know what you add rocks to and what you don't, but I don't once, either. Once again, there is a set of four of these and they're hefty bottoms. We like hefty bottoms. So if anybody else is interested in these, we will start these puppies. We have a bit of 12, so we need to go higher than 12. And I am going to start a countdown on these. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. And now we'll wait for the stop. Waiting for the stop, waiting for the stop. There we go. All right. Thank you, Logan. I appreciate that. Let me get this off of here. Where'd you go? There you are. Way up there. All right. Now is Jamie's turn. Thank you. All right. Here's my little Amberina piece. This is a little tiny Crackle Jack. Uh, crackle Jack. It's still early. Crackle glass pitcher. And this is the Amberina. Look at how darling this is. I'm starting this at $12. And this, where did I just put my black light? There it is. The handle on this is the yellow. And we'll see if it comes through. Oh boy, it might be too bright in here. You know, you can kind of see it. The handle lights up real bright of course you can't see it super well here let me try this just as a thought that would look really great with a certain vase that was just bought there you go well i know some people just have the full uh amberina it's really not picking up it's bright you guys i promise oh there you go you can kind of see it right there i need to mention something here just because with my delay i have dolores here with the start of 12 but above that i have melinda at 12. was that for this crackle pitcher melinda well oh there we go yeah okay and Melinda, you know, shipping's not going to be too bad. This is teeny tiny, and you're near me. Here, I'm going to turn this back on. So you get the gist of the of the uh, glow on there. Now, the bottom has a, a rough pontal on there. So this is more of one of those more crude crackle situations. This isn't like... I don't know, a Viking or anything, you know, that kind of Amberina, but it is the Amberina color and it's got the cadmium in there that makes it light up. Oh yeah, I was going to measure the height. This is a, a wee little darling thing. It's about, set it down to it this way. It's about three and a half inches tall. So it's just, a darling, you could totally use this as a creamer pitcher if you wanted to. Like it's, it doesn't have any damage. It has no no real cracks. It has the crackle, but no real cracks or chips or anything like that on it. And it's just a darling. And it's it's definitely an orange, amberina. It's maybe coming through a little bit more red, but I'd I'd say that this is orange with the yellow handle. I have like a miniature version of that in my kitchen window and it's so pretty when the sun's shining on it. Even more miniature than this? Look at yeah. how tiny this is. Yeah, it's tiny. Wow. I kept it because it has a chip in it. So I'm like, ah. I always keep the really like chipped and messed up things for myself. Yeah, I, don't, I don't mind those for myself at all. I don't either. But this is in perfect shape. 
And I think I'm gonna start the countdown. We're looking for 14 or more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. So Wait darling. Waiting for the stop. Waiting for the stop. <laughs> Oh my God, that's going to become a merch thing for me. Waiting for <laughs> stop. And there's our stop. Oh, wait, did Melinda get in there? Yes. I think she did. All so right. We got Melinda for 15 on that. Congratulations. Thank you, Melinda. And gotcha. boom. Okay. So, are we ready? I have this beautiful Nippon dish. Look at that. Ooh. It is gorgeous. And um, there's the marking on the bottom. Hand painted Nippon. Now, I believe there was gold on the handles, but it's wore off. If you can see the remnants, there was some gold. So it is wore off of there. But oh my gosh, look at that. We're going to start this out at $12 for the hand-painted Nippon dish. And I have to tell you, the gold that's outlining this is raised. So whatever that's called, Moriagi, Moriage, raised gold. Word that I can't say. <laughs> it's just raised gold to me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous, though? $12 for this Nippon dish. That is beautiful. And the colors in it is absolutely stunning all those flowers that i would imagine that took a while to paint that and then to outline it with the gold that's more talent than i have for sure yeah i can't even do paint by numbers <laughs> all right so is anybody interested in this beautiful nippon hand painted dish with the flowers it's starting at only twelve dollars and i like the background too it's it's a brownie coppery color yeah it's so pretty and all those beautiful painted pieces okay so it looks like nobody is interested in the hand painted beautiful Nippon vase. Look at the purple in there. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pass it on back to Jamie. Okie dokie. And hi to some people who I see in the chat. Hi, Katie. I didn't see you come in. All right. Just know we're saying hi to all of you that's come in. I we are. It's hard to keep track when you're doing this but um okay it's pixie time um i have a darling little weirdo here it's a prixie oh my as gosh. I would say um i'm gonna start at eight dollars and i'm gonna start by saying that there is like a chip or a, a weird dent because i think maybe it pulled up to a point on the top and maybe got knocked off but it is colored inside so maybe it's just a really old chip and somebody tried to fill it in um but when he's sitting displayed like this you don't really notice it at all because you don't know what it was supposed to look like i guess like he had a pointy hat maybe i'm not sure but i believe this is a uh gilder i think that's the maker of these little pixie guys he's got like a kind of more of a matte paint on his face. He's a little dirty and I was a little afraid of cleaning him up because if it's cold painted on his face, which I think it is, um, you might wanna take like a Q-tip and just like go around the eyes, like don't go over the eyes. It was just more, I was nervous to do it myself. So whoever gets it, if you wanna clean him up on his face, that's just dirt on there and i think it will come off 
I agree with Kitchy Cat. That hand behind the head is so sassy. We've got some sassy pants going on here. And this giant foot, it's hard for you to tell, but to keep him standing up, there we go. To keep him standing up, they made this foot sticking out so humongous. Like, <laughs> that's a size 14 male right there, for sure. This is just... I wish I had something to set him on, but I would probably drop him and break him. So I'm not going to try, but yeah, he's definitely doing a little, and it is, it's a maroon color. I see the question red or Brown. It's, it's maroon for sure. There's like a, a reddish. Let's see if I hold it closer, maybe it'll show up. It's a reddish color. There's a little tushy. And I just have this little plastic, uh, succulent in here because like I say I am capable of killing air plants so I use plastic I use the tacky plastic myself but you could certainly put an air plant in here or even put him on your desk and have him hold your favorite pen or pencil too because he's just got this very small little opening and there's nothing on the bottom but he's he's something else that's for sure. That face. And we thought Bigfoot was, you know, an abominable, hairy creature, but it's actually no. but it pixies are running it's away. It's a pixie. It's a it's a sassy pants pixie. <laughs> Hi, Shirley Pearl. We'll take this out so you can see his little face. He's got the eyelashes going strong too. Look at that. And a little heart-shaped mouth. He's probably made in Texas. I don't know what that means. Because everything is bigger in Texas. Oh. Well, he's got big feet. We'll just leave it at that. And he's sassy. Whoops. Sorry. Hello, <laughs> Doug. It's jumping on me. Hello, Maria. Hello. Shirley, come back. <laughs> Hold on, that didn't matter. Now we're <laughs> people like big footed pixies. Yes. Now I'll remind you there's a there is a dip, a ding on the top there that's been filled in. But you know, I've been holding it like this the whole time and you just really can't can't notice it. You could probably try to match the color better than than that person did. It might just be like dirt on the top too. I'm not sure, but this guy's old, so you know, he's got his, he's got his signs of age, sure. like we all have. Okay, so I will start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. I didn't notice there's this symbol on the back. Just notice that little something, whatever that means. If that means anything to you, it doesn't mean anything to me because I don't know. I'm not a pixie expert like some people. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. I jumped again. It's a little bum. I know. A little bum. There we go. I was oh, trying to get to that one. And stop. Oh, Melinda snuck in there, didn't she? Got it. All right. Thank you so much. He's a cutie. What a fun sale. Thanks for coming on, Jamie. This is fun. All right. So let's do some pink depression glass. I have this wonderful, beautiful pink depression bowl here. Oh, that matches this vase that I got here. Look at that. It is so um, geometric. Gorgeous. This actually, and for once, I did some research for you all. This is Jeanette Glass. And this is called Sierra, or um, I think the collectors call it Pinwheel. So, and it was made in the 1930s. So, we are going to start this out at $12. Isn't that just gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hey, That's guys. Beautiful. Never mind. 
I'm going to take this out of the running because I just discovered there's a crack in this. Oh, no. It's running along one of the ridges is why I didn't see it. Oh, man. Oh. So there is a fairly substantial crack in this. It runs from here. Oh, to I it. see it now. Yeah. I just seen it on the camera. It runs right along there, and I didn't notice it. Oh, darn. So, we're going to just take this off and this will be mine. So I'm now you get a that. beautiful pink bowl. We are going to uh, be short one on me and I apologize for that so much. I wish I would have seen that. It's like when you're taking pictures for eBay and you shove it in your light box and then whoop, <laughs> there it is. So Sometimes you that. can't see it until you get the lighting just right. I know. I can't believe I missed that. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> it is. Well, it happens. So we're not starting that at anything. It's all mine now. Back to Jamie. Well, congratulations on your new bowl, Daniel. <laughs> okay. I'm just I'm... glad I caught it. Well, you wouldn't want to ship it and all that because then you would think that it got broken when it was shipping. <laughs> okay. I got some chickens and these are from what I've seen. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty certain they're Royal Copley ch a chicken and a rooster. And I'm starting at $14 because there's a chip on one side on his little whatever you call that, his little plumage. But I've had them sitting like this, you know, it's just on one side. That's the only damage on them. So I figured we'd see if somebody wanted a deal on some Royal Copley chickens. And they're about mm, six inches tall. And look at the paint on those can you just even and there is some crazing that's the only other thing but that's just a sign of age that's not really damage not to me anyway I like the crazing myself and this has just got that really specific Royal Copley airbrushing paint comb that's what it's called I wanted to call it plumage but that wasn't quite right and then here's the lady Here's the lady chicken and her beautiful paint. And then there's the bottoms. And they're just a sweet little pair. These are definitely older. I like crazing too. The colors are, they're just so, so pretty. Let's see. I'm just going to do one at a time. I'm afraid I'm going to drop them. Yeah, hen. The lady chicken. A hen and a rooster. They're a couple. I love the color glaze on that. That is so pretty. It's just so, it's maroon and like a bluish black at the tail and like a sage green and this rusty kind of brown color. They are so, so pretty. And again, he does have his chip, but he's got a good side. We all have a good side, you know. So if there's no interest in those coming through, then we will just set them aside. Looking for $14 on the pair, which without a chip, that would be quite a steal. So if you don't mind a chip, like I don't, this is a really good price for these guys. All right, we'll put them aside. All right. I'm all about the chip and the crack, except for when I think I'm going to sell something. And then well, <laughs> Most of the stuff that I have are chips and cracks. I don't mind them. Like I have some Roseville and it has a big chip in it. But if you turn it the other way, it looks like a perfect piece of Roseville. 
you know, if it's got a good side, I say that's all that matters. That's right. I actually even have a Roseville that's a um, bud base, but I mean, it, the bottom was smashed to pieces and they glued it back together. But I got it for a dollar and I'm like, yeah, I'm fine with it. It looks good. Yeah. To me. <laughs> so, all right. We're going to do this and I don't know what to call this. I don't know if it's a snifter or if it's a vase or if it's a glass. <laughs> I can't quite figure this one out. So it's a something. It's this beautiful amber and it does have this optic in it that swirls. Now I will let you know. I already know about this one. It has a little wonky there if you can see it when they made it. Oh yeah. It they I don't know what happened there. Either somebody pressed on it or did something. So it's a little wonky right there. And there is a little bitty bubble right next to that. So just to let you know, to be aware on that, but otherwise it is beautiful. Isn't that a gorgeous color? I, I love it. Amber. And then when you twirl it, it's like the um, barbershop thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is starting out at $8 since it has the wonky, the little bit of wonkiness right there. Don't we all love a little bit of wonkiness in our life? We're all a little wonky. We're all a little wonky. So we're starting out at $8 on this. Look at the beauty mess of it. And since this has a flat bottom, we'll go back to our, you can put a light in it. Everybody, else, everybody else does their, uh, you can put a plant in it. I, you can put a light in it. Let's see. Let's turn the light off and see if it does anything. You could probably fit a whole bottle of wine in there. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a tea glass, let me tell you. <laughs> let me, let me uh, measure this for you just to, you know, pretend like I know what I'm doing. She is eight and a quarter inches tall. It's a tall one. You did. Ah, oh, dang it. Sorry. <laughs> they jump on me. Oh, yeah. Pillar candle. That would be beautiful. I don't, I just, I don't know. It needs to be on a little turntable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mesmerized by that. I just think that is absolutely gorgeous. With this, with flowers in it, it would be really pretty, too. Oh, yeah. Hold it back here. So we have Andrea at eight. So if anybody else is interested in this little bitty wonky, little bit of a wonkiness there, you can see it in the back. I'll twirl it around. Here comes the wonky. Whoop, there it is. So if anybody else is interested in this, uh, we need to go above eight dollars. So I'm going to start counting this down 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Gorgeous. Waiting for the stop. Waiting for the stop. Long Island tea. What is Long Island tea, Chrissy? From what I've read, it's a bunch of different alcohols poured into a thing. Yep. A bunch. All the alcohol, all mixed together. And I've heard, there's our stop. So Andrea is going to get that for eight. And I heard it packs a wallop. I wouldn't know. If I took one drink of anything, it would pack a wallop. I'd be out. Believe it or not, that used to be my drink of choice. Really? Back in my 20s when I was able to really drink and hold my liquor <laughs> now i cannot i can barely hold anything so <laughs> I can't a drinker. when you get older you can't hold anything <laughs> all right let's move it on oh yeah no i i have just one sip of a glass of wine and i'm spinning so not anymore but back in my 20s when my liver was young i guess Okay, so I have a set of seven 
I believe, embroidered. Um, uh, it's not cross, maybe it's cross stitch. You guys who are experts in this can inform me, but these are bears and they are all the different seasons. And I am obsessed with these. I'm starting this whole set at $20 and I'll flip through and show you each one. But I started with 4th of July here, needlepoint. Okay. I don't know the difference between needlepoint and cross stitch, I guess, but there, there's the little 4th of July bear, and they all have this amazing detail around the edge, too. The person who made these, like, really put a lot of love into these. They're adorable. And I think you what you can do is have a spot for this in your house and then change it out for every holiday because it's got just about every holiday in here. So there's the 4th of July bear. Here's... The Christmas bear, isn't he darling? There's a Valentine and he's got little, little beads in there too. On um, like he's making Valentines. So you can see that real, real well on there. So there's the little Valentine bear. And the Thanksgiving bear. I just think these are so adorable. And then here's the Easter bear. He's dressed up like a bunny. And he's got his little basket with the little chicks down there. And again, the ribbons and the lace on the, the edges are just awesome. And then St. Patrick's bear with the little shamrocks, clovers. And then I believe this one is the New Year's, the New Year's baby. I think that's what that one's supposed to be because he's got the little party hat and the little noisemaker thing. So, and that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's seven in total. The only holiday I was thinking is missing is Halloween. There's no Halloween bear. Isn't this, oh, I'm so glad you guys like this the way I do. I thought this was just so stinking cute. And so much work goes into each one. And there's seven of them. Look at his little sparkler that he's holding. And that's a... That's like a shimmery thread in there too. I don't know if you can see the little shimmer. Each one is just so much work has gone into these. Okay, I'm going to start counting down. Keep it moving. So this is for a set of seven. We're looking for 29 or more. You could make a Halloween bear. If somebody, whoever gets this, if you're capable of making a Halloween bear, I would love for you to do that. <laughs> Lord knows I'm not capable. So we're looking for 29 or more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and looking for the stop. Darling. Waiting for the stop. Waiting for the stop. Waiting for the stop. Still waiting for the stop. Still waiting for the <laughs> There it is. All right. Thank you so much, Michelle Newton. Michelle Newton. Me and her are going shopping tomorrow. Oh, that sounds like fun. At least. I think we're still going shopping tomorrow. She was heading up here, so. Fun. We're gonna go hit some places. All right, so. Let's do this. I have some Pyrex. Ooh. 
This is the Shenandoah that was one of the last patterns made. So they are in really good condition. No chips or cracks that I see at this moment. <laughs> and we have the bottom there. And they're in really good shape. I'll show them one at a time. This is, oh, where are my old man glasses? I got it. I got it. Let's see what the size is on this. Uh, don't they put the sizes on this? Oh, one half. So this is one and a half quart. I think it's quart, right, Jamie? Uh, I usually go by the pattern number, like four seven something. Four seven four dash B. Yeah, four seven four. Okay, there's that. And so this is Shenandoah. Both of these, we're going to start these out for both of them at $20. Great price. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> so there's that one. And then we have the... Four, seven, three. So I believe in the set, this is like the medium and the smaller bowl, I think, or bakeware. They don't have the lids, just to let you know, no lids. So we're starting these out at 20. Oops, my start just jumped. Starting out at 20, but I love this color combination. I just yeah, I do too. Gourd. I love a uh, buttery yellow yeah and it is even a little bit more buttery yellow than what's showing up here um there is minor you're not going to be able to see it but there's minor wear on it there's some little scratches um so once you get it in the light you can see the scratching on this but twenty dollars i mean okay so ooh, Jana is the first one at 25. And those are so useful to actually use them and bake with them. They cook so well. I use my Pyrex all the time. I do too. So there's that. It's not showing up, but just know there's minor wear on this. I just think these are beautiful. Beautiful. Jana, you're at 25. Was your first bid? Oh, okay. So then Jana Betty came 30. in at twenty six, but Jana had bid thirty. <laughs> so. Betty, Betty wasn't at twenty five after after Jana, but Jana had the high bid. So yeah, so we it works. It works out. <laughs> Jana knows what she's doing. She's covering yeah. herself. <laughs> <laughs> and I have seen Pyrex collectors pair this particular pattern with jadeite. And it looks really, really beautiful in a collection. I just love that color combination. I just think that is really pretty. I was surprised I even found this. I do. I love my Pyrex. I use my bowls all the time for everything. I've got sets of workhorse Pyrex and then my display Pyrex that I don't want to use. <laughs> I don't have any fancy things. I was just watching Tim from over the years. Yeah. And I discovered what he was talking about, but Lucky Hearts or Lucky in Love. Oh, does he have one? No, he was talking oh. about it. And I'm like, that is his um, unicorn. Oh, well, that's all, he, all of our unicorn. He wants to find. And I did not realize that stuff was going for $4,000. I'm like, oh. Yep. I had There's to look it up, really to look it up to see what it was, and I'm like, okay, I'll be on the lookout for that. Not that I'm going to find it here in Podunk. You never know. All of those are pretty much accounted for, like in a, in collections. I guess all the really hardcore pirates collectors know where all the pieces are, or at least they think they do. So okay. finding one is very difficult. So we're going to count this down. So ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. D, it's called left. Is it 
love and luck lucky and love what is it lucky in love it's lucky in love look at hearts that. and clovers hearts and clovers yeah, yeah. I, i've never seen it before so we have our stop and so we do have jana at 30. she was betty, above you were just stop. after the stop sorry betty okay so let's move this on oh let me get jana off there yeah, it's Pyrex. It's it's the lucky in love, Miss Pamela. It's it's um like a little casserole, kind of the same shape that Daniel was just showing, and it's hearts and clovers around the edge. They make a modern one that's in the the glass Pyrex, and they use that same pattern. So if you look up on like eBay, Pyrex Lucky in Love. You'll see the clear glass ones that use that pattern, but the the old one, there's, I don't even know how many there are, maybe 10 in the whole world kind of a thing. And so they go for like thousands and thousands of dollars if they ever come out of a collection. Like they're all kind of accounted for in a collection already. So it's a whole thing. It's one of those where if you ever find one in a, bottom of a barn somewhere you just very quietly run out of there as fast as you can with it okay this i think is my last my last thing daniel you can correct me if my numbers are wrong or something but no nope, I, I have one more piece left so that should be okay it. i have a brooch i couldn't come to a tacky like sunday morning without bringing a brooch so here is the froggy and i'm gonna start him at 25 dollars. he is marked he is i hope you can see it i'm gonna actually open it see if you can see the mark on there he's a sardi i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's s-a-r-d-i and hey i did it i think you can see the mark in there and he is a, an enamel here's the back with the you can see the the point kind of sticks out farther there we go which i've heard is a sign of age he is vintage these are rather difficult to find um online to find this brand and he is green and gold with little rhinestones in there and he is about let's see how long he is about two inches long see everybody's looking up the pyrex now <laughs> and he is just absolutely awesome looking i found just one other one of these uh, on eBay and it's all the way in Argentina. So I don't know if this is just not a brand that's around here a lot, but he is a pretty fabulous brooch. Let me see if I can hold him up against something. I love that. I think Isn't that's great. The, the one, <laughs> cause you know, me and my little tacky mind, he looks like a, a frog that's been splatted on the road. I love it. <laughs> Oh, poor little guy. <laughs> I think he's just supposed to be a tree frog, but if you want to call him roadkill, you can call him roadkill. That's how we roll here at Tacky is me. Oh, <laughs> well, there he is. Oh, that's interesting. Victorian era. Well, if there's no interest, we will just move along. But there he is. I think he's pretty spectacular. And I will show this one more time just for the people who came in late. Here's my extremely um, valuable <laughs> lion brooch that I am going to be selling on eBay because I'm not cool enough to uh, keep something like that. But this frog came from the state, the same estate as this uh, crazy, crazy lion. 
There we go. All right, we'll put them aside. Okay, so I don't have anything fancy like that for my last item. <laughs> We're just gonna do a glass plate. It's a divided baking dish and there's the bottom. And I did research on this, believe it or not, people. And this is called Crazy Daisy also. I didn't know that they like stole names from each other. It also said Crazy Daisy, AKA Gremlin. So I don't know if collectors started calling this Gremlin or what. Um, so I'm not for sure. But anyways, we are going to start this glass bake out at $8 for the divided glass bake dish. So if you're interested in that, there it is. Those are very useful. You don't want to mix your peas and your taters. Or your beans and your rice. That's what I use mine for all the time. Okay, so we have Betty at 10. I don't know. I just really like the green on that. And I'm not a big green person, but I like that. Green goes all year long, I say. It goes with every holiday, all different kinds of decor. I love green. And you can't beat a great divide. Nope. <laughs> And you're not going to be able to see it, but it does have the glass bake on the bottom. There we go. Glass bake. You can sort of see it. Almost. Almost. Sucky camera alert. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and start counting this down. It's at 10. So if anybody wants it above that, get in before I count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. So waiting for the stop. Waiting for the stop. Waiting for the stop. Waiting for the stop. There we go. The stop is in. So let's. Thank you, Betty. All right, let's bring us both up here. Yeah. There we go. How fun that was, Jane. That was great. Oh, Thank God. you, Daniel. I appreciate it, especially you happen to get up that early. It, Like I said, I would only do this for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and thank Blake for watching the children's. Yeah, I will. I, I appreciate that greatly. Yeah. <laughs> this was only made possible by Blake being able to watch the kids. There we I'm go. Climbing all over me the whole time. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to once again reiterate, if you bought from Jamie, she has her um, information there that you're going to send your information to, which is your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address. Yes, please. Um, she ships from California. So, and then there's my little email address to send stuff to. Please just send me an email anyways, even if I have your information, just to remind me what you got. You know, I'm old. I, I have all the information down, but I like to have a double, you know. A yeah, I would appreciate that too, if you can. Yes, and if you're new, make sure you send all that information to us. And thank you guys so much. And a great big thank you for Miss Dolores. Thank you, Dolores. Jewelry for doing our moderating there and doing the start and stop. And you need to check out her channel, Miss Jan Damn Jewelry. She has some great things. She's from England, but she's a Texas gal. So check out her stuff. She has some wonderful jewelry too. She has an Etsy shop in eBay. She's you find fantastic. All that stuff on her channel. So go follow her and subscribe and comment and like. And then I've got her information down below. Go follow her at Mid Century Wasted. She has some fantastic, fantastic stuff from California. IA. So, and she has a very fun channel. She was one of the um, first ones right along there with Jeffrey and Misty, and that I discovered. Oh. So, 
Yeah, awesome. you helped me through the pandemic. Oh, and you helped me. <laughs> we all helped each other. I don't know how we would have done this. Honestly, I really, that is, you know, Truly. everybody in these videos really helped out with people not knowing what was going on and all that stuff. So. And you guys in the chat who come in and buy from us and support us or just come in and chat and yeah. give us wonderful comments and stuff, you tickle my little tacky heart. Thank you so much for coming in every week and going to all the different resellers and supporting everybody. You guys are awesome and you rock. Yeah. And this is just a wonderful, fun community and I appreciate everybody. Me too. So do you, what, what do you have coming up, Jamie? Well, coming up next, Blake and I are doing a haul video. Um, maybe a live haul, but maybe not. We haven't decided how that's going to work. But we are finishing up my videos from the Long Beach flea market that I've had on my channel for a while. And then next, I'm going to do my shopping video at that insane, insane estate sale with all the stuff. And you're going back today, right? I might. I don't. I haven't talked to Blake about it yet. Oh, so hopefully, just sneak out the room he, and out the okay, back door and go to the sale, and then come back and say, "Oh, Daniel's sale was extra long today." I'll be like, "I'm just, I'm just going out to get some, some lunch. I'll be right back. Go we'll get some takeout, and then I'll be gone for four hours." <laughs> oh mercy. Okay, guys. Well, we're gonna have to end it here because Papa's got to go make money at another workplace yeah. have fun at work today oh that's so sweet of you <laughs> <laughs> she's getting mean now she's all feisty <laughs> she's all coffeeed up and ready to go to a state sale oh yeah look look wow good job empty <laughs> Although i have to say i went and got another mountain dew there you go <laughs> so, all right, guys, we're going to go. Thank you all for purchasing from us and uh, thanks for coming in and chatting and having a bunch of fun. This was wonderful and I this appreciate so you. Fun. So, we're going to go. We'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye.